What's going on guys? We're here with another video and today it's going to be about the uh, cord or my cord and yeah man we're finally getting the bag so not finally I know I said like a couple other videos that I wanted to bag the car and I said that was like in the future future but the uh, future's here so it's beginning of January or I guess end of January beginning of the year so uh, I went with all airlift all around I went with the front bags the rear uh, I believe it's the performance kit, the air performance kit, and uh, as far as management, I went with the 3P management. So, uh, yeah, man, I think the coilovers, I'm gonna just sell them to my cousin, the BC coilovers. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit, and I don't want to open up every box, but this is the, I guess, the rules or instructions to put on the for the front. And this is your front bags. Big boy, right? Oh, heavy, bro. So, this is for my front Honda 18 cord, and then uh, you get your camber plates up front. You can adjust your camber, and yeah, oh man, I could have sworn, hmm, I could have sworn they had the thing for the for the dampening for the hard and soft. Maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. No, look, it does have it right there. See it? Oh, it's right here. No. That's right. Yeah, see? Yeah, so this is for the dampening. I thought I was shipping. I usually just put them in here and then turn it up all that. So, that's my front bag. Yeah, I was about to say, because I think the other one, you don't have that option. It doesn't come with the camera plate, so it doesn't come with the, uh, the adjust, adjust the dampening. And then this is the rear rear bag so mine is uh separate from the actual uh, strut so this is just gonna sit right on, right on the uh i guess it'd be the, the lower control arm and then that'd be sitting there and then i got my struts in here i'm not gonna take them out but these are the struts for the rear this also has the uh to adjust the dampening hard and soft i really would like the car to ride just how it is now I have it kind of soft. I don't like that stiff ass ride, but I mean, my buddy has a, uh, oh, it's cause, cause I don't have air. But yeah, I don't really know anybody with like the whole uh, air lift suspension all around. So it's like, I don't know if they if they ride, you know, good or bad. I mean, who knows? I'm about to find out. So uh, hopefully it rides good. Everybody said it rides good. So my cousin says it's gonna ride good, he's sure. So yeah, man, these are the bags. And as far as like, trunk setup i'm not really gonna go with like a you know whole custom trunk setup i really don't want that i really still want to keep my trunk because this is still my daily driver well yeah, it's still my daily driver and uh i'm gonna pretty much still utilize my trunk so what i want to do i want to push the the tank the, the air tank i did go with a raw finish just a raw finish not the polished one so let me show you come here kind of give you an idea of what i want it to look like So even, even with me having the sub box in there, I still got a lot of room. Uh, so what I want to do is, look, that's what I'm saying. I want, I want to put the tank all the way back there, bro. All the way back there. And then the compressor here, and then compressor there. And that's how you be able to see, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And then the box will still be here in the front. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you got plenty of room. So look, come here. Hey, I didn't know so that. So whenever you much. stand here, or like, you open the trigger camera, you see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it'll look just like that. So that's that's kind of what I want to do. I would love to put the compressors where the uh, the spare tire is at, but I can't because you know obviously the compressors need some kind of air and the compressors get hot. So I can't do that. So I, I do love the you know the whole trunk set. I love it. You know it looks sick, but uh, I really don't want to do that. Not right now at least. So because uh, I did go on a trip to Dallas one time and I took my spare tire, one of my spares, and I loaded it up here because I can't ride on the small spare tire because it's small as tire and of course the car's lowered and it wouldn't work out 
So that's why I took my other spare tire with me and I can still load it up, no problem. So that's why I still want that. But yeah, man, I'm gonna uh, end up taking it to the shop and get it put on. He said it's gonna take about a day, day and a half to kind of look, overlook everything, make sure everything's good to go, no lines being pinched or backs being rubbed down with the tire. So yeah, man, and I wanna do the, I'm gonna just do like a tuck fit me. Uh, not really fit me, but it's gonna be nice and tuck, tucked up in, so. I don't know how long I'm gonna end up going, but how long it's gonna go. So this should camber in and I should be able to tuck most of the tire at least and then the some of the wheel. So yeah man, I'm excited bro. Definitely excited. Uh you know, having my boy Brian, he's got uh bags on his car, my cousin Robert's got bags on his car, and they got a sick ass ride, so shit I was like man I gotta pull up with him, you know what I'm saying? So uh yeah man. That's that for now, and sure we're going to give you a little update once we go to the shop. Last look of it static, boys. Yeah, that's it right here. Last thing to what? Let me give it a 360 really quick. It's dirty as hell, bro. It's dirty, but she's about to get cleaned up right now. No more static. So, next time you see her, she'll be back. Yep. All right. See y'all soon. All right, guys, so we pretty much uh, the car's already all finished up, uh, being bagged. The new Clarence, he's been uh, pretty much updating me as far as everything that he's been doing, where he's been hiding the wires, how he's running the wires, and, uh, you know, the management as well. So, yeah, man, he's all done with it. He sent me pictures already of how it looks. It looks fucking sick, man. Can't wait. So I just got off work, and uh, my brother picked me up, so we're on the way over there right now. So... From the pictures, from what I see, it looks sick. All I need to do is just get in alignment as far as my, what my ride height's gonna be and all that. So, uh, yeah, man, we'll show you once uh, once we get there, I'm on my way. So, keep y'all posted. Well, probably add a couple of pictures that he sent my brother oh, yeah. to this clip. I might drop it right now as I'm speaking. It's not much, just a few pictures of the install. Small clips. Just little videos. updates he sent my brother. So I'll probably drop those right now as I'm speaking or after I speak. And uh, we'll show you the finished uh, finish look right now. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so it's a couple days later after we picked up the car. Uh, I've been kind of messing around with the controls as far as like right height, how I want it. Uh, there's still little things that I want to do here and there as far as like right height wise. And uh, I still need to get an alignment, all that shit. But yeah man, I got that bitch bagged, picked it up. Uh, Thursday, he was pretty quick about it. He just, what, day and a half? Yeah, whole day and a half. and. Yeah, man, uh, I'll kind of show y'all everything as far as, like, ride height, uh, like, picking it up as far as, like, if there's a big-ass bump or something like that, but, yeah, man, here she is.
It up uh, Thursday. He was pretty quick about it. He just what day and a half? Yeah, whole day and a half. And yeah, man, uh, I'll kind of show y'all everything as far as like ride height, uh, like picking it up as far as like if there's a big ass bump or something like that. But yeah, man, here she is. This right now, the setting that she is right now is uh, pretty much if I'm gonna go over like a big ass bump. Uh, but yeah, man, let me show you how she is aired out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So that, that that's what she is there now, right there. Couldn't be happier, bro. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless. Uh, that's how <laughs> she looks. As of now. Like I said, I still need to get her alignment. Uh, probably it'll probably sit a little lower once we get everything uh, dialed in up front. So uh, I'm gonna show you how kind of. Uh, all the ride hides and, and all the other shit. And uh, the setup, let me show you how the setup real quick. So I did, hold on. I went with the uh, airlift 3P. So this, you know, the remote and everything is, you know, it's pretty much long right now. That way I could, you know, uh, set it up how I want to. But I'm, I could pretty much run the wire back and then I'll probably get like a little holster that way I can put, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, the trunk. So he did disconnect the subs. So all this wiring that's here, this has nothing to do with, with, the, uh, with the air ride. But, you know, here's my tank. I did go raw that way in case I want to uh, powder coat or paint or anything like that. I could always get that done. And then I uh, went with uh, dual compressors in black. So those, uh, what what size compressors in case they ask? Uh, 440s, right? They're 440s. 440s. Yeah. 440? I thought they were 480s. 440s. Nah. Nah, 440s. Is there 440s or is it triple four? Nah, bro. They're 440s, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. One of those. 480. I thought they were 480s. 480s are the biggest. Yeah, for a car, you don't need a 480. Nah, I think it's 440. 440C. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I know they're going to ask. Yeah, yeah, they're going to ask. I could be wrong. If I am wrong. And what size is your I'm tank? Sorry, I will. Uh, seven gallon. No, five gallon. Five gallon. Yeah. Five gallon. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I don't know. I Sound like that, boys. Yeah. yeah. It's in there. And then uh, the management is <laughs> hidden under here. I'm not going to show all that. You're going to reconnect those? Huh? you going to reconnect those? What, the subs? The subs? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to oh, do okay. it. Yeah, everything's already pretty much uh, ran. I just got to, you know, connect everything. Yeah. Uh, so the management is uh, underneath. That way the all the lines are ran up underneath the, where the spare tire was. And then the exhaust is, you know, dumped on underneath the bottom. So that's that. Like I said, I really didn't want anything custom as far as the trunk. You know, I know a lot of people do that, but yeah, I mean, that's. That's pretty much that. Let me show you all the, all the settings. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, obviously, we have uh, airlift, 
you know, you got your three settings, you got your front left, the left side, your right side, and you could uh, manually uh, set everything up. So front left, uh, you know, right front, and then etc. And then, uh, you know, the middle is pretty much how high my, uh, my right height. You want to show them it? So this is the right height, guys. As of now. He's still adjusting it. Yeah, I mean, that's the right height as of now. I still need to mess with it. I'm barely one day in with it, so. I kinda wanna go a little lower in the front, and then a little lower in the rear, but. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm still fucking with it. I'm still messing with it. Uh, that's kind of how she looked on the coils. Yeah. And then, uh... You know, that right there... Yeah. Close your door. So this is like a speed bump height. Donk status. The donk, the donk height. Yeah. <laughs> the stock height. <laughs> Probably a little lower, huh? No, it looks like cousin's height. Is it? Yeah. So I was like, man, hold up, man. Y'all, 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 well, homeboy that uh, <laughs> I think is rolling, bro. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's get cousins getting the BCs, man. The BCs. Yeah, yeah, man. But there's a few things that I need to do as far as like how I want uh, to look. I did crank both side screws, so they're both fucked. Look. This didn't happen while I'm back. It's all static, you know. So. You know this happened and then the other side it kind of cracked pretty much here so i need to order new ones uh i mean they're pretty cheap so i, I you know i get new ones no problem so i'm not really worried about that uh but yeah man it's it's fucking sick so big shout out to clarence like i said he did update me all the way through he gave me a fair price and I mean, shit. we'll put his instagram in the yeah. description if you're local here yeah in if you're local here in houston he, uh, you know, he pretty, he did a good job, and he also updated me everything, how he ran the lines. All the lines are pretty much ran underneath the car, and uh, as far as the airlines and the harness, he ran it along the uh, the driver's side. Yeah, so everything's ran on the driver's side, and then, uh, let me show you the Yes, yeah, so everything's ran through the through the door, and then uh, you got your fuses, and everything ran. You're positive, and you're negative, and then of course, I mean, this isn't gonna hook up no more because I got my sister ran to it, obviously, and then uh, you know your compressors and all that shit, and then your power. Uh, you already dialed in on that. It's still. Oh yeah, and then you could adjust the camber uh, in the front. You could adjust the camber, your dampening. Uh, but yeah, man, she rides, she rides smooth as shit. So, I got no problem. That was one of my main things as far as how I was going to ride. Because it is my daily driver. I didn't want it to ride like shit. And I had my coils. And of course, the lower you go, it's not going to ride the best. So, no, the higher. No, I'm talking about on the coils. Oh, I'm sorry. No, on the coils, the lower you go, it's not going to ride the best. So, and then of course, you know, your dampening is going to be a big thing. So, it didn't ride the best on the coils, but I mean, it ride good on the BC coils. So now that it's on the bags, I was riding at like, I think it, right now it's at like, it's at about 100, 100 PSI. So even then it still rides fucking smooth. So, I mean, you can imagine how it is now. I ride about 40, 40 all around. That's my ride height. So, and it rides good. So, but chat, man.
Bag and slam bros, boys. Yeah, man. Get her done. Finally back the cord. <laughs> I won't even say finally because that shit came past. Yeah, not even a year in owning the car in this bag. So you play hard, you play hard, right? So you know people are gonna ask what's next, no? <laughs> Take it easy, man. Yeah. Shit. Uh, what the income tax hits, huh? I mean, of course, I want some fucking. I want some three-piece wheels too, but this one, you know. Uh, well, you said you, you said you from. wanted bags, and look at you now. Yeah. That thing's tucking, man. Yeah. Sexy. It look nice on some I mean, I say, I, I, I say it looks nice for a daily driver, huh? Yeah. But, uh, nah, man, uh, of course, I still need to dial in a few things as far as the front. I want it to sit a little lower, and uh, I need to do an alignment. Then after that, uh, man, I don't know. Side skirts, obviously, I need to order new side skirts. And then... I'm going to fix those. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, I mean, stay tuned also for Cuzzle. Uh, oh, yeah, matter Cuzzle, of fact, yeah. Cuzzle just got his sequential lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my first mod. The bumper lights. Yeah, just like mine. Your first mod. Yeah. He got his bumper fixed, too. If those of y'all that have been watching. So he's going to get the BCs and lower this baby. So, and a lookout, it'll be on the channel. Yeah, man. You guys stay tuned. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. Uh, man, I'm trying to think. So side screws fixed. I need new side screws fixed. And then, uh, you know, dial up a few things. You know, the lift right here is, you know, a little bit of tape coming up. Double side tape. I need to fix that. Uh, hook up the system. I need to rehook up the system as far as that. And then. I'm trying to think. I mean, that's pretty much it. And then after that, uh, I want to do the interior. You know, that's another thing. Uh, I can't rack stock interior. I mean, the outside looks pretty good. And then I need to work on the interior. So, yeah, man, you guys stay tuned. Appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's crazy, man, because when I went and dropped off the car, I, you know, there was somebody that, uh, you know, pretty much knew the car. He was like, oh man, you're back in the, the YouTuber's car, where the fuck? I mean, we're nobody big, you know what I'm saying? We got a, over 1,200 subscribers, so, but it's pretty cool, you know, know somebody was watching and knew the car, so, yeah, man. There's only big things coming. We got other things coming as far as the other vehicles as well. We got our system might be coming up on the Suburban, and then, uh... We're gonna work a little bit on my truck, too. For those of y'all that like the drop trucks. Yeah. So I know we got the drop trucks, we got back trucks, we got bagged Hondas. <laughs> yeah. We like a little bit of everything, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah for sure, man. And it's, uh, and it's wifey acts right for car, so we'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got a little electric. Might have to edit that. Oh, no, he <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, we love everything, so. Uh, yeah, as of now, that's what she got. We got bags on, on the court, so yeah, man. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, shit, stay tuned, bro. Sauce.